of great distress and have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. I so welcome you to this Mass on the Feast of the English Martyrs. And we're offering this Mass for the repose of the soul of Joseph Thomas. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. On today's date, uh, the 4th of May in 1535, three Carthusian monks were executed at Tyburn, the first of the English martyrs. 42 have been canonised as saints, and a further 242 have been beatified. However, the true number of those who died in prison or who were tortured over the 150-year period cannot be reckoned. The martyrs came from all walks of life, clergy, religious, and from the laity. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us to forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth and to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who in our country raised up martyrs from every walk of life to vindicate the authority of your church in teaching and worship, grant through their intercession we pray that all our people may be gathered once again to celebrate the same sacraments under the one shepherd, Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. 
into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia. apostles, beware of men. They will hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking. The spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. When you are convinced that you are right, it is very difficult to accept compromise. So how do you deal with those who not, do not agree with you? Sadly, history is replete with countless incidents of persecution and martyrdom. The Beatitude, blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I'm not sure that is much comfort, but time and again, the accounts of the saints who have given their life for the gospel include profound professions of faith and trust in God's goodness to save their soul for eternity. Such an attitude of trust is only possible in a person whose life is actively formed by the Easter mysteries. But their own life demonstrates their belief in the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and the promise that the Paschal mysteries will, in time, be applied also to the faithful departed. Their life also has been a pursuit of the truth in all things. They might not be able to claim that they know everything clearly, but they have been committed to the formation of their faith, allowing them to be on their guard against falsehood that is presented as truth, against evil which is presented as good. My dear brothers and sisters, may we never forget that the wishes to believe it, and that falsehood is falsehood, even if everyone has chosen to believe it. This is not possible without the gifts of the Holy Spirit, whose role is to guide, protect, and instruct the Christian in the truth. The martyrs have accepted the Holy Spirit into their life as a sign of their personal love of God, who inflames their hearts with charity 
for God and their neighbour. This means that they have been able to speak truth to power, to kings and governors, and to speak the truth with love to their brothers and sisters living contrary to the gospel. The martyrs are nourished in word and sacrament, and many accounts of the saints who have died for Christ speak of a defence of the Most Holy Eucharist, even, its, even though its celebration at times has had to be in secret, they knew that it was still the source and summit of their life, the worship of Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour, held up to us as a higher authority than anything that the world can present to us. For the English martyrs particularly, the Holy Mass mattered. To them and us, it is the sacrament of our unity with Christ and with the Church Catholic throughout the world, a bond transcending national boundaries and ideologies. In the Mass, as the representation of the sacrifice of Calvary, our Lord Jesus Christ ransoms, heals, restores and forgives us. After Holy Baptism, the Mass is the next best stage in bringing us to holiness. And that is not always compatible with secular agendas. The Mass begins with the penitential rite, as we all know, as a reminder that we are not worthy to receive the graces of the Eucharist, and that our own behaviours have not always lived up to the glory of God. As Catholics, we are not entirely innocent of causing martyrdom, and individuals have also uh, had the capacity to wound others by their behaviour. All of us fall short of what is expected from time to time. So as we acknowledge our sins as individuals, may we call to mind those we have hurt by our thoughts, words and deeds, and ask the Lord to apply his healing grace to them. This is certainly one of the techniques that stops us getting distracted during the Mass. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with such serenity and kindness, we pray, O Lord, upon these present offerings, that they may be filled with the blessing of the Holy Spirit, and may stir in our hearts that powerful love through which the holy martyrs overcame every bodily torment, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardour to their faith, 
to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and love of her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Petrus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Prosogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. And be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, 
Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, the place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctified them, filled them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. For our heaven, we have the land of the Lord, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Amen. As the Saviour's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Though not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those born to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To the victor, I will give him the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of my God. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Restored by the sustenance of the one bread, O Lord, on the commemoration of the blessed martyrs of England, we humbly pray that you may confirm us ever in your love and make us walk in newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, in just a moment, there will be adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, an opportunity for us to pray in imitation of the pastoral plan throughout the diocese. Uh, and then a few minutes after that, I'll be over in the theatre on side altar uh, for those who wish to make a confession uh, this morning. The Lord be with you. And uh, might God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia, for he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Lord, the word who is life, may all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage, and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Asahalo 